South Carolina Legislature Approves Ban on Abortions at 20 Weeks The South Carolina Legislature has passed a bill making it illegal for a woman to get an abortion at 20 weeks or more, even if she has been raped or is a victim of incest. The passage of the legislation, which is headed to Gov. Nikki R. Haley S. Desk, would make South Carolina the 17th state to approve such a ban. Miss Haley, a Republican, said in March she can t imagine any scenario in which I wouldn't t sign it. Dot. The Republican controlled chamber voted 79 29 late Tuesday to approve the measure, which would allow exceptions only if the mother's life was in jeopardy or a doctor determined that the fetus could not survive outside the womb. Reaction to the vote was swift. Elisa Miller, the state's director of public affairs for Planned Parenthood South Atlantic, said in a statement that the bill was dangerous for women, and that it was made even more extreme by removing exceptions for victims of rape and incest. The reality is that abortion later in pregnancy is extremely rare and often takes place in complex and difficult situations where a woman and her doctor need every medical option available, Ms. Miller said. These bills are simply part of an extreme political agenda to chip away at access to safe and legal abortion. But others praised the legislature's vote. Rep. Wendy Kanani, a Republican sponsor of the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, said in a telephone interview Wednesday that she was thrilled that it has passed. It is something we have been working on for four years, she said adding that exceptions for rape and incest were not an issue. Most women would not have waited to terminate a pregnancy, Ms. Nanny said. That is usually done very quickly. They don't wait until they are five or six months along. The legislation states that no abortion may be performed if a doctor determines the post-fertilization age is 20 or more weeks. Exceptions can be made only in the case of fetal anomaly or if an abortion is needed to avert a woman's death or physical impairment. Governor Haley, who has five days to sign the bill, was not immediately available for comment on Wednesday. She had been traveling outside the state when the bill went to vote. Most states have enacted legislation that restricts abortion at some stage after fertilization, a New York Times analysis showed. showed.